Hello, my name is Jan Welch, and welcome to the first episode of The Vault on the Then and Now YouTube channel. Over the past year, I've captured almost all of my VHSC, Hi8, and Mini V tapes that I've filmed over the years to make available for you all to watch on this channel. Each episode of The Vault will feature one of those tapes with commentary from myself and sometimes with commentary from the skaters featured on a tape. Today's video is from 2003 and features skating from both San Diego, California and Austin, Texas. It includes one of the attempts Chris Haffey made at fast sliding Dallas Kink in San Diego and also includes a photo shoot of Santiago Espora by Dan Busta which was made into a rollerblade ad in Daily Bread magazine. Being the first episode of The Vault, I was unsure how to present the footage to you all. I've gone ahead and trimmed down and cleaned it up a little bit, but left almost all the attempts in B-roll for you to check out. I've added commentary over the footage of myself, and I'm unsure if you like that format, so please let me know if you want me to trim it down even more, remove more attempts, add more commentary, take away commentary. Let me know. I'm unsure this is the first video, so I'd like to hear your feedback. So leave any feedback you have below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel to see more episodes of The Vault and the Then and Now podcast. And make sure to hit the bell icon to be updated when I post new videos. I've included links to my social media below, so make sure to follow me on both Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, starting out in San Diego, California. Oh, Mike Leaf ate it. I knew the camera was there. Oh, my balls. <laughs> this clip is actually old footage oh God, from this tape. My nuts. That was recorded <laughs> over. So everything from this session is Jesus, long I'm gone. I'm not even touching the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh. So now we move on to Dallas Kink with Chris Haffey trying to fast slide it. This is a, a notorious clip that no one's seen before, but it's been talked about. He's, we went to this rail twice for him to try to fast slide it, and he never did succeed doing it. But it's pretty impressive nonetheless. You can see in this clip, at the top of the rail, there's a little gap in the rail right there. It's like that throughout the rail, so it's a pretty gnarly rail to fast slide because it has all those little notches. I actually found Dallas Kink when they were first building it. They hadn't even poured the concrete yet. It's out in, I believe it was La Mesa outside of San Diego and yeah so we did all the first filming there with all these guys Haffy, Shima yeah it took a lot of people to this rail but yeah Haffy Haffy's trying to lace it on a fast slide I really think uh, he could have definitely fast with this rail if he ever went back to do it back in the day but I don't know why he never tried it again look at that so close that was pretty much the flat there's Robbie Whitcomb all right so Look at that. Ah! Almost got through the flat. <laughs> See that? Rocking an old mind game shirt. This is pre 4x4, so he was still riding for mind game back then. Back in these days, I used to pick up Chris from Coronado Island and drive him all around because he wasn't even 16 yet. Front side. Yeah, you know, oh, he almost died. Oh. Uh, playing around. Fuck. There's no way I'm gonna make it, dude. Good call, Chris. Front side's no problem. He gives it a few more shots, but it's going to be a no going to fast life for today. Oh, switching it up. Hmm. Yeah, 
Now, I can't remember if this, I believe that's a switch, true top soil. And it's not working out for him. So he's going to go natural. So, you know, one of the things when you film, luckily, most of these guys, you know, laced most of their tricks pretty fast, but sessions like this where you're just waiting and waiting and nothing really happens, you know, it's like definitely frustrating. Top soil, the soil, I did. Me? I can't do it. In a trail, like Mistral. Oh, I'm going to do it on that, those long rails over there. And that was... I kind of want to switch up or something if I feel like it. I want to hold a really, really, really long pass for the default. That was Damien Wilson talking. No one wanted to skate this rail today except Chris. Which a solo fast slide session and she tops the way out. Here you go. Serious lack of motivation when nobody's skating it with you. Oh, hold it. You could tell this is, you know, still pretty early on in Chris's evolution. Later on, he would have laced this much faster. Boom. Oh. Oh, come on. I could have done it. He wants. I yeah, I saw it, Chris. I think we all saw it now. It's amazing how well Chris skated on Remedies, you know, I tried them once and very difficult skate for me to try to skate on. Alright, this session is going to be over pretty soon. Chris is going to come up with a, a little maneuver for them to attend the session with. And that is it. Just a true top soyal to royale line. Not what he wanted, but it's what he got. Alright, next. Aaron Miller. Bank to soul. This ditch was someplace south west um actually southeast of san diego maybe bonita or something there was a water park by there this is right by the entrance james st hours he used to live in san diego at the mad ave house with drew backrack james Spitsky. aaron was definitely one of the steezy san diego og skaters Coming up with the Brian Bell crew. Got Dick Vance hanging out. She got Aaron. Oh, so close. James wants it too, but nope. Almost. Ah, uh, you got this. Nope. Uh, there's Santiago Espora hanging out in the back, not skating this ditch yet. Kind of a not my normal crew right here. Nick Mance, Aaron Miller, Santiago, and James St. Hours. It's uh, probably the only time I ever skated with this one group. There you go, Aaron. That was sick.
Yeah, I skate with all these guys individually, but definitely not this, this to these guys together. Oh, what's James doing? Oh, he's pulling back the fence. Hold on a second, I got something going. You do. Changing up the spot. Looks like Aaron Miller was the only person ever to do that trick because the fence is going to be gone. All right. While James is working, Nick Mance is going to be trying to do Royale 270 sub slide. Close. Classic dirty lens. Super common for back in the day filming. All right, James testing out his new spot. Boom! Look at that. Santiago decides he wants some. Boosting it. Boom. <laughs> Sick. Santiago was a really cool guy. And Aaron, boom, laced it. My angle's not that excellent in this shot. This one might be better. Nope. Landing's better. Oh, another clip from the original tape that got recorded over. All right, Santiago. This is in downtown San Diego. wasn't far far from the just wasn't far from the Daily Bread offices. This is uh, Dan Busta shooting photos. He needs to do a true mistrial. There goes Nick Mance for the front torque attempt. Hmm. Such steez. Those old roll blades. People were like, nah, don't want to Velcro the straps on them. Oh, hammer. That was the money shot. One thing when you're shooting with a photographer, a lot of times you have to do a trick over and over and over again to get the right shot. Dan and Ryan Shooter were both pretty professionals, so they knew what they wanted. And they made the skaters get it. Uh, I saw this flash, I think. Oh, That's so sick. That one was good. One more, switch angles. Ryan Northway, out of nowhere. Oh look, there's Louis Zamora's brother. Steven Zamora, I believe. Steve Zamora. Oh, solid landing, so sick. All right. All right, this is off Kettner Boulevard in San Diego by the airport, kind of outside Little Italy. Ryan Northway playing around on this banked wall ride. Huh? Yeah. Ryan didn't come down to San Diego too much by himself, so it's pretty rare to be skating with him without uh, at least some of his crew. Skate the Jersey Barrier. Look at that setup on some blocks, ready to be skated. It's Mike Leaf. Oh. <laughs> Safe. Yeah, that was cool. A little tap, wall ride to fakie.
right on the jersey barrier for Mike Leave. Can I see a wall ride to fake Yeah. Wall ride to fake it, yep. No grab to grab fish brain. Got a perfect setup and transition. Skating in San Diego was definitely a lot of fun. I mean, there's so many people there. This is like the, you know, the heyday of rollerblading for aggressive inland skating. I'm not sure what he's exactly trying to do, but... There we go. Ford porn. Alright, this is the session. This is right up the road from where we just were skating at. And this is Santiago shooting his ad for Daily Bread magazine for Rollerblade. And yeah, this is a really cool spot. I remember this day like it was yesterday. That could have been bad. Dan, super positive guy. So steezy. Oh. Lost his foot there. Pork soul. Definitely broke the man. Nope. You got this, Santiago. Boom. Land is a little off and Dan's in the way, but Perfect. still pretty sick. If you want to do it, I'll shoot. Yeah, one more, and I got the shot on this one. Oh, nope. Let it go back down. Hmm. This might be the one. Ah, uh, boom! Super clean. Perfect. That was really cool. All right, now we're back in North Park. This is not too far from the old Rattel offices. Like a Church of Christ parking lot. Nick's trying to Royale, hop up to Royale. Mike Lee's trying to do the same thing. This has been one of these days where like uh, we go to a lot of spots and do a lot of skating, but not a lot of tricks have been landed. So you know you have those days sometimes. Some of these tapes are going to be jam packed full of just non-stop landed tricks, and others are a little drawn out. Oh, it's Damien trying. This kid, little Mike, and I used to come here. He jumped these gaps. That was Haffy talking about him and Little Mike. If you saw, but Damien looks like he's doing back Nugan and drop back Nugan. Oh, look at that. He loves those drop downs on those Farfrae Nugans. Look at that. So sick. This did see it. Nick wants it. Mm, 
angry mag. Oh, and he laced it. Super sick. Next spot, I don't remember where this is at. It's also got the three lens, curd white wedge. It's got plants on other sides, so you gotta hop over them. It's like we had. Back down. Nick Wood was here, Robbie, Damien, Lonnie Gallegos, Ryan Northway. Pretty decent session. I'm assuming this was over, this tape was over a couple days. So this could have all been one session. No, definitely not. It was uh, definitely over a couple days. I think this ledge is actually closer up to Escondido. Getting artsy. Filming Nick off the reflection of the window. One more time with Damien. Eh. Must have not liked it. Nick was flying too. Oh, that would have been sick if you liked that. Northway trying to see if there's a gap to grind as possible. Out of focus, 360 out. Lonnie trying the same thing. Almost had that royale. Nope. Not gonna happen, Lonnie. Now he's trying to back to work. Boom. There you go, Nick. Audio's cut out on this clip. In the next two, I believe. Like one track. Nick. Okay, here's another original clip of this tape that was recorded over that survived. This rail, I believe, is up by Poway High School, just up the road. Ryan Northway does some pretty fancy maneuvers on this thing. Gnarly trick on it, really. Oh my god. That's how he just floated off those kinks? That was really cool. First one, I thought that was pretty neat, even though he came off early. There you go, Nick. That was solid. This is not like really a fun session rail, is it? Nick found a little manhole cover in the bushes he's gonna try to grind hot and hop onto. I can't really tell from this angle, but that's what happened. Damien, pull out top mistrial. What? Top corner of soul? Or top soul? That. Uh, uh, look at that. That was pretty sick. I don't even remember if I used that in anything. But man, that was a cool trick. Uh, 
There we go. Not really a manhole cover, more like utility cover. Overexposed, dirty limbs. Plastic. Plastic camera quality. Alright, soup plantation gap. Remember where this says that? Somewhere in North Carolina, though, there's Lonnie talking to security. And Ryan Northway is going to attempt to jump this. And he's getting his thumbs up. And oh, nope. And he's not amused. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, Chicano Park. This spot was a lot of fun. Get kicked out of here pretty fast though, back in the day. A couple of sus slides, and that's it. All right, now we're in Austin, Texas. Practice, practice makes perfect. Jared McBay, yes, sir. one of my oldest friends. I'm a suburb. I'm a, sub I'm a suburb skater. And then, of course, Shannon Rogers, an Austin legend. Oh. One of the early bladies killing the killing the game. This is this rail. It's called God's Rail because it's just at this church. It's really short. And it's got the glass windows there, and it's definitely I can't believe it hasn't been broken through yet. And people still such this rail. Twenty years later, you've probably seen, um, you know, all those guys killing it in Anthony Medina videos. Jason was. A triple switch up on a tiny rail. One day that window's gonna go, dude. Huh? One day that window's just gonna go. Yeah, I know. Ah, oh, that was sick. Jason, front door sweaty. I was gonna tell you to do that. Jason Howard is also a really good friend of mine. He's one of the first people, him and Lonnie Gallegos, <laughs> him and Lonnie Gallegos are two of the first people I ever met back in Austin, back in the early days of aggressive skating around, I would say, 1993, 93, 94, something like that. Mm, that looks like a hurt. And he's back at it. Close. We got the fake out of it. Jared's every trick Jared does is different. Even if he lands it or not, he's like next trick's different. Shannon trying to zero Ali Porn and definitely just ate it pretty hard. What happened, Shannon? Luckily oh, she pulls my through. God, my clip, like, hit the fucking thing is going up and down. Oh. Damn. Yeah. What the fuck? I missed it. Right, back. Didn't let that fall stop her. Crazy switch up for that oh, size rail. Shit. Top acid, alley top acid. Jared, music kind of grind. Rail's too short. Yeah, let's get someplace else. Yeah, yeah for real, right? Alright, let's move. Move spots. Uh. Alright, Jason, finish it off. Alright, this spot. This is uh, East 12th Street. In East Austin, Ebenezer Baptist Church parking lot. This street's changed a lot. The past, you know, 18 years since we filmed this, it's gotten gentrified. But this church is still there, and this spot's still there. One of the few things that hasn't changed on East 12th. Oh, 
Boom. First try. Super solid. No problem. I'm gonna follow it up, Jared. Let's see what you got. Ah, and look at that. His rollerblades are also unstrapped, just like Santiago's were on Jason's Holm, but... Ooh, fake three. Oh. oh my god, that was sick. Almost. Stuck, to, stuck on that landing a little bit. Jared back with the 180. And... No. Oh, man. That looked like it hurt. Ah! See how this fakey three goes. Boom. Oh, shit. Ate it. Ouch. Got this, Jason. All right, Jared. Nope. Boom! That was solid. Fifty three from Jason Howard. Super sick. Jared, what you got? Oh. Oh. Sick. A little sloppy, but he laced it. <laughs> Is he going to do it again? What's he got up his sleeve? Oh, backslides have to fake it. That was way sicker than 180, and he laced it. Damn. All right, this spot's on, really famous in Austin. It's gone through a variety of changes. I had the rail ripped off several times to just be a ledge, and the rail gets put back on. It's been white, it's been beige, it's been gray. It's been skated for 25 years, and it's been in tons of videos. I forgot the name of the spot. Uh, it's a hotel. It's never really been a bust, which is pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Half cap sold a roll. Yeah, Shannon was a Machio. Shannon's in a lot of tricks in this roll. She's definitely put down some hurt on this handrail. Got Jay Grant, very cool guy from Austin. He's made some really nice videos, like Self. Filmed Be Free's first section. I'll post some links to his videos in the description below so you can check them out. Jared with a slow grind to fall. Shannon back. Another Machio. Oh. Safe. That could have been painful. Those bushes, too, have gone through changes. Sometimes they're full like that. Sometimes they're completely broken back from people falling in them. Oh, God, that's sketchy. Jared, what you got? Ali Mizu? That's been done in this rail. I think pretty much everything's been done in this rail. And then everything's been done in this ledge. Alright, so grind. God. 
Another soul. Definitely touching, but lacing it every time nonetheless. Um, also touching. What do you got now, Shannon? Uh, nope. Rocking that black fabric shirt from Lonnie Gagos. Come on, Jared. This is all your basic moves. That was also close. Ah. Oh. Four star. Shannon's definitely the MVP on this ledge today. Or rel, I should say. The most tricks. Shannon's done some crazy, crazy spots back in the day. I mean, some of these ledges she did in Austin by the Capitol are nuts. Drop ledges and just a gnarly ledge over in San Diego I filmed. It was one of the scarier things I filmed. Spot. This is just around the corner from the last one. There you go, Jay. Get back, Nugan. Shannon, trying to Mizu. That's my trick. I've actually never skated this spot myself. Back, Nugan again. All right, Jay. Jay's also been around for a long time in the oscillating scene and. Not skating that much anymore, but man, he got really good later on, and I think he was one of the best skaters. Whoa. In yeah. Damn, Jason. Oh my god. Wall ride the pillar to the stair ride? That was absolutely nuts. Jason, that was definitely the MVP <laughs> trick of the Austin. Session today. Oh, almost. All right, this spot is the last spot of this tape. This is only this clip, and it continues in another tape. So. All right. Boom. <laughs> Jason's medium. That was the first episode of Vault. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to know what you thought about it. Please leave comments or suggestions below. Um, I wasn't sure how to present this video to you guys for the first episode. I want to know if you liked the narrative I did over top of it, if you thought it was boring, if I should cut it out completely, or if I should add to it, change it, more information. Let me know. Also, was it too long? Was there too many attempts? Should I cut out the attempts? Like, I'm kind of trying to leave it raw. I trimmed out some things, but I'm not sure how you want it. Obviously, every tape's going to be different. I have hundreds of tapes. Some tapes are going to have lots of bangers, famous tricks. Some are going to be a little slower, like the one we just watched. But they're all going to be different, unique, and a part of rollerblading history. So I definitely want to know what you thought. Please leave those comments below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more of these videos and more of the podcast videos in the future. Hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I put a video up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for the next episode of Vault. Take care.